Welcome back to Deathmark 2. It's been three days since the last case, and, well, it's certainly been harrowing. It's, a, it's been a harrowing experience, for, for certain, yes. Haven't really been doing much lately, though. Been drinking a lot of coffee. Remembering that the departed actually ate the spirit once we purified it. It is the best. We must eat a lot so I can become beautiful and be loved. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Well, that's what it takes. Well, then I got to get to eating some ghosts. Then you look great, honey. Uh Mm-hmm. See, I like that the Spirit Hunter games have essentially a punishment for not doing everything or not getting the best outcome for the ghost. It's cool. Well, let's see how things have been, because, I mean, we got two students dead, but we're just saying, Oh, they went missing! They ran away! <laughs> yeah! They peaced out and said deuces! That, that's it! That's absolutely it! Yeah! Ha 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 ha. Mush mushy. What horrid timing. Yes, hello. How can I help you? Aww. Yes, this guy. Aww. It's Eita Nakamatsu. Hey, bud. Yes. Now and always is never a good time. I, I gotta go. I got a lot of old t-shirts that I've had for at least a decade, but even then, they don't fit as poorly as this guy's shirt does. He's an XL at heart. I mean, I mean, I mean look, look at it. It's, yeah, it's stretched out to hell. It's, it's going inside of his belly button. I don't know how. That thing's a circus tent, if I've ever seen one. Oh. Eight, uh, no. <laughs> He's gonna basically be our guy on the internet. Oh. Looking for rumors and such? Yeah. Even though it's the late 90s, you know, there's still those BBSs and all that. Or in Japan, you know, Japan's connected, tightly knit, so a lot of people in BBSs, it's, it's, mm -hmm. it's, yeah. Our info guy, maybe not exactly internet, but info guy. Don't you have a job? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Uh, oh, well... So you're jobless. That's fine, then. Well, I'm recharging my key. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Okay. Well, then, hey, this might be good on the resume, sure. I'll, I'll go ahead and be... <laughs> yeah. I'll, I'll be your reference, no problem. Let's see, you got go you got uh, factory worker, ghost hunter, um... Mm, yeah, you're definitely staying here. I think a eclectic is word of the day. What do you think? Uh, d it's certainly a word. Uh, not the word I would use, uh, but that's the word I would use to be polite to his face, but, uh... Hold on, l allow me to rephrase it with the word of my people. NERD! FUCKING CREEP! LOSER! DWEEB AZOID! Right, yeah, there's no way I'm gonna have him around, uh, you know, <laughs> minors. So... Or actually just other human beings, in general. Yeah, so you stay here and do stuff on the internet, and I swear to god, I'm gonna check my, 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 uh, history log, and if it's bad, I'm coming for you. If you go to girls.com, I swear to god. I mean, I'm gonna sick my new wife on you, okay? So, just behave. Ugh. Alright, so we look like shit, obviously, because we've had to <laughs> deal with all this, so he's like, Hey, why don't you go ahead and take the bus? Don't drive, take the bus. You look like such shit. You need to take the bus. You can't drive yourself. Are you kidding? I mean, it is a bit of a distance, you know? Yeah, that's true. That's true. Save on gas and the like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, well... I mean, it, it's the 90s. We might have to pay over a dollar for gas. Yeah. Yeah, what? Oh, perfect. Oh. 
I was expecting some sort of thing to happen. Yeah, you know? exactly. <laughs> I fell asleep. I got on the bus. I made it to my destination on time, and I was prepared. Well, you see, after that uh, upsetting case we had last time, this this part right here is kind of like you know just a chance to breathe until the next spirit. The plot goes on. The next spirit comes, but we're taking our sweet time. We're just kind of letting it happen. Just letting it. Uh, just yeah. All right. Well. If we had more lost souls, we could trade them, but uh, we traded the last two last time, so... We're all caught up there, let's just make our way to the faculty room. Does anybody in here know any spicy rumors? We gotta check with Konoe, because it's been a few days, we gotta see what he's up to. If he still needs us, has there been another notice, like, for instance? Damn, not a distraught face. Nice. Idle hands are the devil's playthings. Huh. All right, let's talk about the the last case. Jesus Christ. <laughs> I've read your last investigation report. Holy fucking shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Yeah, goodness. I noticed he's more inclined to believe us since that ghost is now gone. And he's witnessed it firsthand, too. That, so. too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, I'd wonder about me too. I didn't do it. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I am kind of a weird guy. You know, p students talk. It's what they do. They keep uttering my name, Mr. Dabalina, Mr. Bob Dabalina. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, Miss Sakamoto's got it out for me too. Well, how many ghosts has she hunted? All right. What about uh, the disappearances? How are you dealing with that? Uh huh. Ooh. Uh huh. Ooh. That's not right! That's not uh, yeah, I, that is That is astronomically high! Mentioning a statistic makes it sound even worse. It's like, dude, don't worry about it. 50,000 people die every day from smoking. Okay, good. <coughs> Alright, no new notices yet, Well, I mean, so. everybody was smoking in the 90s, you kidding me? <laughs> well, yeah, I mean... Smoking companies were just like, you'll be cool. <laughs> We still got nothing, it seems. There's nothing we can do yet. I just, just, it just feels kind of hopeless when we're just nothing's happening, sitting on our thumbs, just waiting for the next notice, for people to be in danger. Ugh. What? Uh, pardon? Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh, excuse me? I don't, I don't teach. I hunt ghosts. Japanese history teachers have fallen ill. Oh, great. <laughs> we have to teach Japanese. Uh... How, go how good's your Japanese at this point? Mama desne. Better than mine. I think we can put our collective heads together. I think, yeah, we, we can probably figure it out. All right. I mean, yeah, if, if, we, if we're a substitute teacher, then they could probably get to know us better, and we can... Get rid of some of those nasty, suspicious rumors about us. <laughs> you walk into the classroom. All right, students. Study hall. Get to it. All right. Uh, well, look, man, I'm not cut out for this. If one child okay, fine. asks for my license, I swear to God. Uh, I, I mean, I get it. That's, that's very assumed. That's, that's, that's very ass assumptive of you, man. I can teach them about the occult, and hopefully they don't piece two and two together. That's apparently what you can teach in this curriculum, but if you're okay with it, then okay. It's, uh, I guess we'll just go with it. We have scrapped econ for the day. You are now going to learn about the supernatural. Alright, it's time for Klingon 101. Oh, sorry. Gisglachudnita. Oh, very well, thank you. Can you imagine walking into a room, it goes dead silent, and, all, and just 20 pairs of eyes are looking at you? Uh, hi! Um, Dabalina? I, uh, hunt go- no, um, and the teach, best teach! Teach! Yeah. Temporarily. I can also see, like, horror scenario, all 20 of them go, hello, at the same time. Oh, they're all looking at me. Uh, Alright, what, what, what lesson should we teach them? 
Uh, it's look. supposed to be Japanese history. What kind of Japanese history? I mean, we've we've had we've had a game and a half. Uh, we should probably think of something. Uh, the Kujo and Kanoe family. Great. Let's talk about the horrors of the Great H City Air Raid. Cool. Did you oh. know that people died 50 years ago in a terrible bombing, kids? Oh. Let's talk about that. There's a bunch of ghost stories attached to that. I mean, at least they're learning history, because those who don't learn about it are doomed to repeat it. <laughs> All right, yeah. Oh, thank God we made it to the bell. All right, go home and forget everything I told you today, because it won't be important. <laughs> everything I taught you was bullshit. Bye. Ugh. <sighs> I hate kids. They were all looking at me. Yeah. With their eyes and shit. <laughs> all right, ready for a second period? What? Uh, ah! Mr. Dabalina, Mr. Bob Dabalina. <laughs> Mr. Dabalina, Mr. Bob Dabalina. <laughs> I hear the voices again. Oh no. Oh great. Sakamoto's looking for us. Alright. <laughs> Let's go talk to the lady who hates us! Hello? Hey, hey, hey. hey. Sup? It me. Yo. What do we got here? Wait, don't tell me. A tooth? No! Oh, that's Shit. not good. Uh, well, I mean, it was gonna happen sooner or later, right? Dear Gold Prize. Kashima will kill you tonight. I'm watching, hiding in the school, your beloved. The, the departed. departed. Okay. Are we the Gold Prize? No, we're, we're husband. Oh, right. Well, we could still be considered a gold prize, but who the hell is Gold Prize? Now nah, everybody has one nickname. We're 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 husband. We, we are, are husband. We are we are darling dearest baby. <laughs> Wait, that's that's multiple names. Oh no! Read the room, half. <laughs> <laughs> Target this gold prize, and there's a new spirit called Kashima. Kashima. So, today we're gonna try and learn what the hell is Kashima. Yes. I always like learning about these spirits and how they connect to mythology. Well, it's not really mythology. It's just bad things happen to people and then they become an angry ghost. Vengeful and, uh, spirits, yeah. yes. It's just that mythology just happens to be in the background when it happens. Yeah. It's like, I don't fucking know. Go on with your, with your dumb little ghost detective thing. Oh, That me... was like the most stuck up thing. I haven't the foggiest notion. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I am a curriculum coordinator, a.k.a. teacher. If only your attitude was as good as your style. Shish. Cool. Yeah, where do you start after you get a threatening note I about Kashima? I don't think she likes me because, you know, I'm, I'm, you know, the students are dead and they bring in the fakey ghost detective guy to do something about it. I'd be pissed, too. Like, this seems like a Phoenix Wright type thing, you know? Definitely. And everybody hates J Phoenix Wright. Jake Hunter, even, you know? Alright, next, we're going back to the infirmary. That was a joke, by the way. Everybody loves Phoenix Wright, except for prosecutors. They fucking hate that guy. <laughs> oh! Uh-oh. Yo! It, well, oh, uh, hey. You it's, were? It's show. Oh, you were. Why do I not remember you? Oh, you remember him. He was, he was early, in the earlier cases in the first game. That's probably why it was so far back. It was a while ago. It didn't feel like it was, but it was. I know! Jeez. Yeah, wasn't that 2018? Uh, uh, I think it was 20, either 19 or 20. I don't remember. A while ago. Yeesh. Yeah. Are you my new victim? The uh, helper? Uh, see, we're, we're dealing with spirits here, man. Yeah. You know what? 
aspect I like about this particular visual novel. You see how the billowing smoke is continuously moving for the text box? Mm -hmm. You know, most visual novels would just give you a static text box and that's all you get, but this one's actually moving. See, we've we've evolved. We're not, we're not allowed to have uh, visual novels with uh, just static boxes anymore. They need to be more dynamic now. All right, what the hell are you doing here, man? T help me. Okay, fine. Everybody's coming back. This is this is dangerous, though. This is like the most dangerous spirit we have ever faced. Get out of here. This place is like extra uber haunted. Well, it looks like I isn't here. Okay. She has removed herself from the plot, either because she's dead or because she's, you know, stepping back from the case, but... For her best interest, you know, take a step back, don't be in the deadly school full of ghosts. That's pretty good advice. But this guy's walking on in, just saying, hey, I heard ghosts. I heard action. Uh-huh. You gonna... So you're gonna be in disguise in the school, too, at... No one's gonna buy this. Uh huh. Harem pants? Big, thick, like, poofy pants. Oh, like MC Hammer? Or? It, it's sort of. It's, oh, parachute pants? He's got he's got a strange idea of masculinity here. I guess. I can't wait to hear his girly scream later on. It's still it's still daylight. Let's let him have his moment. Okay. Okay. Yeah, Mr. Tough Guy. Look at that. You got the you got the slick side hair. You're looking like a straight up Yankee nude dude. Nude? <laughs> Slip of the tongue. Those are almost words. Those are almost words. I think I was trying to combine noob and dude, and it came out nude, which and unfortunately is a word. And and you threw Yankee in there, which uh, really messed things up. Yeah. Just, just just a bad salad. <laughs> Rotten lettuce. It's like iceberg lettuce, spinach, and for some reason you used like I don't know ketchup, a lemon. <laughs> so if you're waiting for the for the hot sexy detective uh, for your big yowie moments, uh, well he's not here right now. He's doing something else. He's he's not here right now, but here he is. We didn't forget about him. Here he is though. I like how your mind strictly went straight to Yowie. Of course it did. But why? You didn't see the undertones in the first game, did you? Oh, of course I didn't. Of course you didn't. I'm me. I don't see shit. You're as straight. <laughs> see, you are as straight as an uncooked spaghetti noodle. <laughs> I am noodle. I'm about as straight as an uncooked lasagna noodle. A little bit of wave in there. There's some wave in there. Definitely not straight. Yes, let's. F I want to see Kashima. That's my favorite part of these games, is seeing the cr the creatures? The ghosts. Because they build them up so good. I swear I'm with it today. <laughs> I want to see the spirit. I want to know their story. I want them to kill. Alright, so... Can't figure out who Kashima is. No one knows, of course. But we gotta figure out who the gold prize is. Maybe we can then try and find a link to Kashima from there. Alright, who's our current valedictorian? Who's the golden boy or girl? That's a, well, let's uh, ask student council to see if we can get some leads on that. There we they, go. They'd know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice. Alright. Investigation time. Mr. Tough Guy joining the investigation. Alright, to the student council room. Nobody here. Oh. What? Alright. Well, let's, let's wait around for a bit. Find a few things. Uh, I'll we'll start at the cabinet over here. Uh, just records. Okay. The meeting minutes. Anything on the board? We got papers here on the whiteboard. Several printouts. Uh, One of them is about the clock tower. Ah. In gold lettering. Kodohara Academy Student Council Notice. Kodohara Academy 7th Academy Wake Up Clock Tower. Built to commemorate the school's 10th anniversary, the clock tower is a representation of Kodohara Academy's 70 year history. To commemorate the 70th anniversary of the school, we'd like to make another attempt to repair the clock tower, and your signature is required for this to happen. Our cooperation will be greatly appreciated. Let's use our power to move the hands of the clock again. 
Okay, so restoring the old clock tower, get a bit of history back going on in the school, I get it. A bit of prestige. Understandable. That's extremely nice of them, honestly. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Yeah, it's hard to repair clock towers like that. Can you imagine how many gears that need to be readjusted? Oh? <gasps> A hint! Huh. Hmm. I wonder why that is. Turns out the reason the clock tower isn't working is because there's the stanky corpse still stuck in the gears. You wanna think maybe the clock tower is fucking haunted? What? No! Oops. But why? Alright, what else? We got the notebook here. Hmm. Nope. Mold and pests. Always good. Ah, uh, they are. Okay, nothing. Anything in the trash or anything? Uh... Oh, what are they throw away in here? No, okay. uh, nothing in here. Musty. Oh. Oh, hey. Hello. See if we can get some info about uh, Gold Prize here, yeah? Alright, investigating time. What can you tell me about the Golden Student? Any ideas? Huh? Oh. oh. Let's, let's chat. Oh, oh dear. Oh, she's caught up on that. Uh. uh. Yeah, good response, Dabalina. Big old ellipsis. Well, I mean... Oh, fuck. Your silence has said enough. Yeah, yeah, she she's smart enough. I think she gets it. Yeah. Well, I, I mean, mm. well... That's, that's, that's not true. She just has an upper hand on me, I mean... Uh -huh. Slit Mouth Kashima. It's a lovely name. Ew. What do you got, huh? Ooh, oh, the bus, bus stop, stop ghost. It's a good thing we took the bus to school. Oh, shit. Ah. <laughs> I was wondering why the detail was specifically there. Uh oh. I, I bet Michiho would know more. Yeah, huh. What do you got about the gold prize? Anything more about that? That'd be, that'd be my guess. Any big competitions lately? Any big winners that people were uh, murmuring about? <gasps> the leader of the track team. Uh, I don't know. We haven't had a track team in 20 years. Leader of the shot put team? I don't know. Hmm. I guess, I guess we suck here, don't we? <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> we kind of blow. Oh, no. They're all bought from Party City. Oh, man. This one says world's best daughter. What? Yeah, this is more of a, like a cram prep school type yeah. deal. I think more about academics than about extracurriculars. Makes and sense. There's, you know, mired in controversy too, so, you know. I wonder if any of the teachers got a trophy from years ago and they're still at the school now. Like, as, as a staff member now. Hmm. Let's go find Michio for now. Make some make curious. Uh -huh, yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, don't students get scolded if they have weird colored hair? Yeah, like blonde. Th there is there are, there are incredibly strict dress codes and ev and uh, even like decorum and uh, behavioral codes for students. Mm -hmm. Like like even the path you walk home. You oh, know, really? Reminding that, you know, you wear your uniform when you're outside and you represent the school, so stuff you do, you know, make sure you just... Wow. Your your eyes can't, like, your hair can't touch your eyebrows and all that. It's, it's all... Jesus. Yeah, yeah, it's all a thing. Ooh, school over? Yes. 
Yep, looks like we're done here. Ghost time! <laughs> All right. I mean, we got we got a couple leads. I want to talk to Michiho first before we uh, really begin our investigation. All right, time for the night. Diamond's coming too. And we get a whole convenience store burger. Mm. Quick microwave mm. sub. Not bad. Mmm, it's pizza. It used to stink back in the day, but nowadays, huh? Yeah. It's kind of worth your money. Mm. <laughs> okay, I love that line. Late as fuck. Late as fuck. Yeah, he is late as fuck. <laughs> yes. Yeah, I mean, we can't wait on Old Man Daimon here, so I think we need to... Yeah. Yeah, what if they need to take the bus? Uh-uh. Alright, well, I guess we'll just begin the investigation right now. Then. Okay. Hopefully we don't get jumped. Alright. And the new building. Yep, over to the new building, Haunting Central. Wow, that is some fluent animation on show. What the hell? It's looking pretty good. Oh, they've done a great job on this game. I'm sad nobody bought it. But then again, it was a short short print release. It's yeah. still digitally, dig, digitally available, I'm sure. I think that's where it's going to get most of its sales anyway. Oh. You, you should buy it now, kids. Hello. Oh, hey, there's Michiho over here. But over here cool, cool. Is, is a sign. A tooth. Yes, it's a it's a it's a gate. It's a go to Kodohara Academy. Yeah, all right. Yeah. Because you go to a shit school, cool. man. Oh. There's tactile paving on the sidewalk between the school gate and the building. Mm-hmm. Oh. Uh -huh. Wow. They just said more common these days. I need to remind, keep reminding myself this takes place in the 90s. Late 90s, like 99, 2000. 99, 2000. Okay. Dang. It's a tooth. Uh, it's got a little, little bit of fungus and mold on it. Yeah. <laughs> here, here, hold this. Ah. <laughs> Anyway, Michiho! What up? Just the lady I want to talk to. <laughs> what do you know?! Yeah, shine the flashlight right in her face! Yep, we got a new notice. Kashima. Oops. I need my best spirit hunters here. Well, I need someone who's got a, their ear to the ground on this kind of stuff, and, well, you're it, sadly. And so. Sho doesn't have ears. He's just a weird guy. Huh? <laughs> See? What'd you say? No, really. <laughs> Shut up. None of your business. Yeah, wait, wait, uh... <laughs> I really want, like... Eloquence is your best feature there, show. <laughs> An overly bad bully. He's like, none of your beeswax. Like, okay. <laughs> okay. All right, both of you cut it out. Why don't you make like an egg and get out of here? Okay. Ma make like a tree and fuck off! <laughs> <laughs> All right, so show's one of my assistants who uh, got bit by a death mark, you know, some months back. You want to join? T uh, really? Yeah. Something tells me that if I say no, she'll go okay, leave and join anyway. So yeah. I mean, we'll let her join for a bit. Yep. Ooh, one of those responses would let Show handle it. Oh, That's do you think he can? He can't handle himself. No, he can. All right, just just a little while, okay? We're just going to the bus stop, doing some things, but uh, you need to answer me some questions. Yep. I need info before you can join the spirit hunters again. Let's do our best. Let's do our best, Michiho. Uh, oh, we're on a first name basis. Yeah, she wants to be on a first name basis. I mean, t t you know, whatever. Kinokawa, Michiho. Sure. 
What you got, girl? All right, let's chat. Talk about is the departed. Yeah, it's the. Well, I mean, people are dying. Who wouldn't? Spirit du jour. Mm -hmm. I could just imagine that anxiety, just being like, "Am I going to be next?" And, and then when you're next, oh uh, shit! You don't even know if it is you because it's it's called you by like yeah. some. Just some derogative name that she calls you. Like, if you were still in high school and you got called out by the departed, what would your title be? The Sousa player? Dear Sousa phone, yeah. Dear Sousa phone, mine would be cello. Uh oh. Now let's talk about Kashima. Can we finally get some info on this thing? Slit mouth Kashima. Was their mouth sewn shut? The and then cut open? Did a special feature on them and it became a big hit among students. Oh dear. Oh, here we go. And now we begin. There's a rumor going around Kono Konoihara Academy. Chapter 3. Slip Mouth Kashima. Kashima. Kuchisake Kashima. Oh, thank you. Here we go. This bus connects the school and M Tower Station. Mm -hmm. Once the sun goes down, students aren't allowed to get off midway. Because Slip Mouth Kashima will appear. Once a girl got off the bus and started walking, she heard a strange sound from somewhere. An eerie, metallic sound. I hear it. And That's... when she tried to listen closely out of curiosity, she heard a voice mixed in with the sound. Sound suddenly stopped right behind her. She looked back without thinking. Oh. Ooh! And saw a tall woman in a long coat. She wore a mask and carried bloody scissors. And that was Slip Mouthed Kashima. So that sound effect sounded like a stereotypical bear trap going off. But if it's scissors. That's more deadly than trying to bear trap somebody walking away. A student was really killed five years ago. She got off at that same bus stop. She saw Kashima standing next to the bus stop. Kashima started walking toward her. The voice and the metallic sound got closer and closer. A bus came from the opposite direction. The girl ran over and got on that bus, not caring where it was headed. The bus left, heading away from the stop where Kashima appeared. The girl took a seat and felt relieved. She convinced herself she was just imagining things. <laughs> she believed it was in all it was all just a dream. The bus took her back to the stop near the school. <laughs> oh, no. She had to get off there to get back to get uh, to go back to the door. But you know what? Ooh. <laughs> Hello! Kashima had chased after her. And then... Snip. Oh, oh, no, not snip, my friend. Snip is what you get in shitty horror games. But this is definitely... Oh! They come out at you! What the fuck?! That girl was killed by Kashima. Even worse, the way she was killed was unbelievably horrible. She was stabbed to death, but from the inside, not outside. Are those pairs of scissors? Coming out of her. With all the blades sticking out of her body, she looked like a bloody hedgehog. It was a nightmare scene. And then just for added measure, cut in half. Nope. Just left there. I mean, she was split in half. Nope, just... 
just, uh, just a whole bunch of scissors come poking out of your body. Imagine dying with scissors bursting out of your body. Gruesome, isn't it? <laughs> Bye! Michiho, is there something I'd like to confirm? Yeah, that's my face right now. Uh... Is, is, is that, uh, is that bucket empty? Okay. <gasps> there you go, school gate where that student died is... Right over there. Uh, of course. Just <laughs> right here, actually. Uh, of course. Does that mean that the, the to that, that tooth we picked up was... Slowly wipes hands on pants. Uh-huh. Yeah, it was a little fucked up, yeah, I mean... Ugh, <sighs> of uh, course. Uh, yeah. <laughs> do you think... I mean, besides us, do you think the police actually has a paranormal investigation section? Or is it just this guy? Depends on how big this, uh, spirit, uh, hunter thing is going on. Like, like, how, how famous are we? Uh, I'm also just thinking, like, you get a call and saying, hey, we got a corpse with a bunch of scissors poking out of her, and then you get there and it's not there. It's like, what the hell do you mean? Hmm. Oh, Reiko Kashima, the girl who was cut in half when she fell off a train. But that's someone else. Hmm. Interesting. So we got the slip part, but we don't know who the Kashima part is. Well, anything about gold prize then? This should be good. Nope! God damn it. Okay. Well, that. At least we got uh, Kashima. So, there's that, at least. <laughs> the, yes. The build up and the telling of the tale is so fucking cool. Do you think she stole our flashlight from us just so she could put it under her face while telling the story? Let me tell you about slit face Kashima. And for Dabalina, he's like, oh. And for Shiro's like, ah! <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. He's hiding up around the other pillar. Show? Are you done? Oh, there you are. Hey, is the story over? All right, so Michiho's going to be uh, with us for a bit. And Sho's going to be on reserve. Cool, I guess. We can do that. That's fine. Yep, yep, yep. Yeah, okay. Do some experimentation! Do some investigation! Oh. Well, then. Got a new notice, and yeah, that's, uh... Yeah, she was cut in half. I wasn't seeing things. No, she was cut in half. Oh, okay. <laughs> immediately point your flashlight and show. Hello. Well... Next time on Death Mark. That was so awesome. We're gonna we're gonna continue our investigation and hopefully find something spooky. I really hope we find this gold person. I don't want them to die. Well, they're probably gonna die. You never know. You never know. I mean, the night's still young. Still yeah. got a lot to investigate. So we we can we can make a difference if we try hard enough. You believe? I believe. I believe too. See you next time.